Sorry about that, that was my computer lagging. So this is the first of 10 matches that I did with this guy Kobe Boyer, which is a very good player. And this is not his main character, but he has a pretty good understanding about spacing. And as you guys can see, every time that I'm at the corner, I can't do anything to escape that pressure. Well, it's not a lot of pressure, it's just knowing that I can't do anything to get out of there. I forgot completely that was Ultra 2 and I got punished. Fairly good. Okay, hold on, let me just fix my light because it's too bright at the top of the screen. Okay, sorry about that. Let's just save the replay. Let's go with the next one. This guy is... Oh, I can't do the same. Oh, it doesn't matter yet. He has like 3 dozen, 3.5k. say but just clarify that when I was young younger I just think there was only two type of players the aggressive players and the turtle players but in the turtle category there's a type of fighter which is called an spacing player the spacing specialist and as you guys can see, this guy does not risk anything and he plays very simple. He will stand just a little further from my maximum range and he will punish accordingly from that range. He will just 
he will use a lot of safe jumps and my main mistake is that I'm not doing a hard knockdown so he can always quick do the quick rise up and that's that's it that helps him to avoid any kind of tricky situations and every time that I'm in the corner every damn time I will have a lot of problems because he won't cross that limit he will stay there just in front of my face but not in danger so this is the fight number two and you can see that he is having no problem okay let's save this replay I'm putting two star because not because of him but because of me. Uh, hold on, something happened. I don't know, I guess it was my mistake. And it helps me to know which replay I already saw. So let's keep streaming this. Sorry about the movement. You know it's DC but Okay, let's continue watching this. Usually Ryu has a lot of problems with Fei Long because Fei Long outreach Ryu's range. And Ryu does not have a true string or a lock string like Fei Long. Fei Long can be on the defensive. But this guy, as you guys can, you guys saw the medium kick, the crouching medium kick, because of Ryu that he lacks the range from the medium kick, because the toe has no value whatsoever. It only when you are beginning to use the uncle when Ryu, the, when Ryu can uncle, is it uncle, uncle, with the ankle, when Ryu can start hitting the other. The other opponent, but Phelan does not have that problem. Every graphic and every hitbox is from Phelan's. It's a little further than Ryu's, so that's one of the main problems Ryu has at this moment. He cannot touch Phelan, and Phelan doesn't need to touch Ryu in order to win the fight. It's a fight about patience. Because Ryu does not have anything that moves him forward, and Fedor has every single um, tool to do so. Okay, let me save this one. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. It also helps me to send this video to my friend that and he uses Fade Long. He can no longer train like uh, because he's married and he has he has kids. So he's basically retired from all of this shit. And well maybe if he gets better I will be better because right now he is a uh, pretty easy to long. I'm missing the link from the forward hard, uh, hard punch, but it's very difficult because I'm thinking some other moves, and it's hard to put that into my routine. I'm really, really. Oh, one, second, one more time. I need to do a hard, a hard knockdown. That's one of the main things that I have to do. I have to put it on my routine because I don't want rice, quick rice, quick rices.
You know, the most difficult part when you are learning a character is to watch every time you lose. And maybe it's because you don't want to feel the same thing you were feeling in that time that when you lost. And because you, people is proud all the time. But oh, it's difficult, really. It stings. Okay, let me save this one. But like, like I was saying, you need to watch it so you can see what else. What is that you are missing? And I actually used to do that when I was playing Warcraft 3. Nowadays in Street Fighter 4 I don't play like this, but maybe I should be considering one once again to do so, to do that. And um, well, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Basically, it's just the same. The ten matches. I'm always close, but that was a random punch, the hard, the hard kick that he just landed. Not even my best tools are in, in range. My coaching medium punch is not, is not for doing enough pressure. And yeah. That was just a desperation dragon punch. That, that was an ultra, but I miss it. Complete, I completely fucked it up. You see, every time that I can connect my midi crouch and medium punch, I can win the match. Because he is impatient. Now that I'm watching one more time the those replays, I can see that he is impatient. He just had that same routine, very nice and completely practiced. And He's playing. He's playing automatic. He's playing with a, an automatic mind because he has faced that situation many, many times. Mm, nice to see that. It's very nice to see that. Okay. I'm getting closer, but I'm still losing because the matches are not really that well. So there were some of them that were really unbalanced, and I was completely destroyed by him. But the most of the matches, I I'm only losing to a tiny amount of health versus a tiny amount of health. Yeah, always it's crouching, light kick, medium kick from fail lungs repertoire. Ah oh, man. to do that on the practice room you need to do that, that, that move I try an option select dragon ball dragon punch but it's because the hard lockdown maybe maybe because it's ending the combo on a crouching on a crouching hard kick Most 
starting to think that I have my own space chain. Oh, if I could only avoid that one and hit it at the same time. You guys saw that crouching medium, medium punch that I did and he did a flaming dragon punch with that kick from Fei Lungs. It was just to be sure that he was smashing. But unfortunately, this is the kind of player that will always do what I think it will do. And those guys are the worst for me. Because they can do 10 times in a row the same move, and I will think now nah, he's not going to do it again. No, 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 he's not going to do it this time, and he does. He does it. Okay, let me see. It was nice that I could say this because early morning I was playing online and they play a bunch of games with Ibuki and Evil Ryu so I thought that the replays were completely lost but I'm happy to see that this wasn't the case and they are saved for future analysis and maybe if you guys have an idea that does that does that does and always medium kick coaching medium kick Oh my god, what a mistake I did there. I was trying to plink something and the fireball overlapped the motion with my plinking, so I couldn't do a dragon ball. You guys saw that that standing light kick that I do? I usually do that when the jumping is like Sakura's and Adon special. So I can always that Standing light kick has a really big hitbox and it helps me to say to my opponent you're getting predictable I know that you're going to jump and this is only to prove to you that I know it I'm not really interested in doing big damage I just want him to know and there's one more time Medium kick, yes. Medium kick and buffer to these. What can I do with. What can I do in that situation? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm longer than this guy. Oh, yeah. 
it would be possible to finish him. But a dragon punch, he had so much life. Okay, he was actually this was actually very good. Oh, hold on. How can I? Every play, yes. It was actually worth something. Hold on, three more. I'm out of here. Yeah, that's my main problem. Crouching, 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 medium buffer. Crouching, 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 medium buffer. Crouching, crouching, medium buffer, to special. Mm. But that's very predictable. Yeah, but he's doing the same. He has been doing the same since the beginning. Oh my god, what a stupid move. I did a dragon punch, but what do you know? It didn't read the input because of internet online game. yeah I forgot about that I thought I forgot that this is not Cami's Ultra 2 but this actually has half a second longer so I made that mistake Yeah, I didn't have an ultra. 
but now I do. It's the same kick as Rolf from King of Fighters 98. So that's that's how difficult it is to beat that that kick when it's just properly. Well, the beating is about to end. I think I have one more fight left. Ah. testing about that and this is my last fight One more time, one more time, no. You know, when you know about Street Fighter, it's not about hitting the opponent, it's about making a successful throw out of him. I don't know why the hell I did that. One more time, I tried that. Well now I know. Yeah, the ultra. Well, that was it. So as you guys can see, a, a player who is not really a turtle, but is always with playing with spacing, it can be a real pain in the ass, at least for me. Let's just save this one and I will... continue with my training from today. At least I saw my loss from this match okay thank you guys if you enjoyed watching this please send me a comment and subscribe and i'll see you probably next time bye